this one. First of all, my likes. Well, I like this film, and it was... Hi everyone, it's me, Frank Kenstein, and I'm back for Halloween in January. So, it must be the weekend because I'm here and my master, Dr. Fripp, is on his weekend break. So, whilst I'm not being his servant or his, you know, his own personal monster, I'm usually here reviewing films and that. So, it's ha the first Halloween in January weekend, and for that one I'm reviewing The House with the Clock with a Clock in Its Wall. Yes, it's the one directed by Eli Roth, starring Jack Black, Kate Blanchett, and his Eli Roth's wife, Lorenza Izzo. So this is based on a book, and uh, my master said, oh, this would be fun for you to review for Halloween in January 4, and I said, okay, master. So, um, basically, this young boy, uh, I can't remember the kid's name, but he's orphaned and then goes to live with his uncle, played by Jack Black, who's a wizard, and he lives with this witch woman who's played by Kate Blanchett. And there's this clock in the wall, and then there's that bad man who's played by the guy from Twin Peaks. And uh, basically, um, he is bad. And there's a clock in the wall. And then there's magical stuff that unfolds. So, let's get to my likes and dislikes about this one. First of all, my likes. Well, I like this film and it was surprisingly good. Eli Roth, I'd never known him direct something so tame and family friendly because he always usually directs something quite grisly and gory but this felt like a change. He also had a cameo in this film as a toy soldier advertising guy on the television like he did in Clown, he had a cameo but as a clown on the telly. <laughs> oh yes, I also like Jack Black in this. He was a funny character and Basically, anything with Jack Black in his funny, he liked cookies. <laughs> oh, also, um, I liked Kate Blanchett in this. She was very pretty. She had grey hair, but she was pretty in it. I like Kate Blanchett. <laughs> uh, and I also enjoyed the small brief moments with Lorenzo Izzo, who was playing the deceased mother of the child in it. And was in Lorenzo Izzo, of course, we all know as Eli Roth's wife. Um, I uh, liked her part in this. And uh, she was very pretty as well. Uh, I was wondering, is this set in a different time period? Because everything was old-fashioned, so I'm assuming it was the 60s. So, um, what else did I like about this one? Well, I liked, um, you know... Kyle McCoughlin, you know, the man from Twin Peaks, and if Doctor Who was a, a an American program, he would have been the fifth one. So, yeah, I liked him in this. He was a funny, well, no, he wasn't funny, he was evil. He was scary and he was bad, very bad. I didn't like him because he was bad, but I liked him because he's a good actor. But I didn't like his character because he was bad. 
very, very bad. And um, also he had a wife in it who was evil and was a shape-shifting evil lady um, and that. Um, but also this film had good cinematography and good digital effects and had some good funny comedy elements in there because Jack Black's a comedy actor. <laughs> okay, so how about I get to the next bit, my final thoughts and ratings. My hand is getting more controllable each day. Okay, so final thoughts and ratings. I enjoyed this film. I thought it was a fun one to watch, especially with the family. I wouldn't say it's horror, but it definitely has that Halloween theme with the pumpkins, the jack-o'-lanterns, and the magic and the mystical stuff. And, you know, the very, you know, it has not very big horror elements at all. I would consider this family-friendly fantasy. So with all that being said, I enjoyed it. So I'm going to give this, I think I'll give it three and a half scalpels out of five. Three and a half scalpels out of five for the house with a clock in its wall. So that's it for this one from me. Join me tomorrow where I'll review another one for you. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up, share with your friends, don't forget to subscribe to the official Random Horror YouTube channel, and to hit that notification bell. All the social media links for Random Horror are all linked down below in the description, so be sure to check all that out. I've been your host for today, Frank N. Stein. So until tomorrow, bye-bye. <laughs>